just wanted to go over real quick how I've been uh, recently designing things that I want to work on. This program I have up right now is called Fusion 360. And for hobbyists and companies that you know don't really make too much money, it's actually free. And you just Google that and you can find it. And you can pretty quickly get to your airplane shape. And once that's done, you can get, convert it to a drawing. And so here we have, you know, a nice drawing and not any of these dimensions did I type in. You're just referencing points. And so it makes it super quick to make up some plans for yourself to then go start working on building it. Previously, I used Inkscape. It's a great program. Um, sometimes making these shapes, you know, is a little bit difficult and figuring out how thick the airfoil is going to be and you know, trying to figure out these lengths like I can you know you can figure out the root length here but the tip cord you got to draw a line move to the side go up here put it in inches oh it's 7.256 then you got to come click the letterbox click it remember what that number is type it in Oh, you want to know millimeters too? You got to go up here, change this to millimeters, then come hit the letterbox, then type that in, remembering what that number is. So, anyways, I just want to go through briefly designing this, you know, not maybe this specific plane, but just any plane. The numbers don't matter. It's more about showing you how quickly and easily and nice it looks when you're done. So, we're going to start off with a new design. First of all, you need to go to Add-ins, Fusion 360 App Store, and you want to search for Airfoil, and you want to do Airfoil Sketch from File. Download that, run it, and then it'll automatically just put itself in Fusion 360. The other thing that you want to do is you want to f download an airfoil and in this case I'm using this airfoil and what you do is you just grab all this copy it paste that into a text file and you're just gonna name it whatever you want dot dat and just remember where you put it And inside of uh, Fusion 360, it's going to edit, create a sketch. Now again, this isn't going to be a total how to use this program. It's more just a quick demonstration of how quickly you can get to uh, your idea. So first what we want to do is we want to draw a line that represents our root cord. So I'm just going to hit L, start drawing. And I know that the root cord is... 14 inches. And I'm going to change that into a construction line. That's where it's dotted. It has to be a construction line. Go up to sketch, airfoil sketch from file. Need to make sure that we have selected the line. It's going to use that to size it up to that root cord. Click OK. Go find your DAT file. Bam. And then you're going to have to check each one. In particular, this one I'm using, the PW51. It's not closed in the back. And once this becomes a closed shape, it'll turn yellow and become a face. So I'm just going to click L, connect those two places. Give it a sec. Okay. Escape, back out. And there we've got our airfoil. Now, we want to make the next airfoil on the wingtip. And we're just going to do a one panel plane just to make this quick and easy. 
but I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to say create offset plane. So this number now is going to be how far away from the root cord is our wingtip. So half of the wingspan. So let's just do 25 inches. And we'll back out. And there it is. It's 25 inches away. I'm going to right click on it. Say create sketch. And I want this to be kind of a backward swept wing. So let's just, if you wanted to, you could measure out exactly, but we're just going to say right here, we'll just make it here. And click there. And let's just make it eh, seven inches is good. Okay. Escape on that line, hit X to make it a construction line, which I can see here, it's a construction line. And then we're gonna go up here again, airfoil. I'm just gonna use the same exact airfoil, but you could use a different one on the wingtips if you wanted. Click OK. Give it a minute, there we go. Again, I'm using the same airfoil, so I know I need to close the back just to make it a complete shape. Give it a minute. There we go. Zoom out. And now, if we zoom out, we can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. So a little bit of sweep. So now we want to connect those two shapes. So let's see. We want to look for loft. Click that select that face, not any of these dots, that face. Then we're going to select this face. Bam. Looks good. And the nice thing, once you watch some, some tutorials, you'll see it's really easy to jump back in time down here and change any of these things and it just updates everything you've done. So it's really easy to make changes. Just going to click OK. And there we go. Obviously, you could spend time changing, you know, putting in elevons and other things and making a, you know, a center section and all that, but not needed for this quick little demo. Now, you would, you know, probably work on all of this. Well, you know, what? actually, let's do something real quick. Got to have wingtips. Create sketch. Let's just do this quick. Do something like that down. And you could go as crazy as you wanted with this, not a big deal. And I'll hit Q and we're going to select this yeah, well I'm not going to spend too much time making this perfect but basically let's make it five millimeters so obviously I did a little bit of mess up there but Jump back in time. Again, I'm not worrying about the shape too much because that's not really what this tutorial is about.
you know, you could go in here and just, you know, make it look as pretty as you want. But anyways, good enough for this quick demonstration. So now let's mirror this, just show you how quickly you get the other side. Set a wingtip. Just come down here and edit. What am I missing here? Something. There we go wrong thing selected so you know it's not perfect that's not the point of this got that pretty quick so now let's go to drawing from design okay and we'll just take Up view. So, anyways, you just go through there, pick all your views you want. Now, here's the really awesome part. Click on dimensions, click there, and there, 25, and that's in inches. Now, if you double click on that, come over here and say alternate units. Now it's 25 inches or 635 millimeters. Dimensions again. There's that one. millimeters you can also do it with you know pretty much any two points you can click on if you can click on it you know wherever you want to put it so anyways you just go through there click 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 and you have all your sizes uh, you can even change these to be shaded You know, you can make it big. You can change a lot of these settings. Anyways, just a quick demo I wanted to show you. It's pretty nice. You can go through there and change all the settings. So I just want to encourage people to try and use the program. It's pretty great for making things look nice. And that is it for now.